Welcome back to the Recovery Channel. I'm Brian Ariel, Treatment Director of the Outpatient Recovery Program at Applied Care Services. In our previous videos, we're talking about where to find help and what to do and what all that'll look like, but there's one real basic thing that we need to really get to before we even go down a lot of those roads, and it's asking ourselves the question, am I willing to accept help? You might say, that sounds really weird. Obviously, I'm looking for help. Yeah, and I've had hundreds of people that are looking for help, but they're not willing to accept it. They're not willing to buy in that there's a problem and that they need to listen to the person that's in the know. And so when we look at that, it's becoming extremely vulnerable. If you think about it, when you ask for help, you're admitting that there's something that you can't do or you're admitting that something's out of control and that you need someone else to step in and not to necessarily solve the problem, but to help you with the problem. So when we're asking for help, are we willing to accept the help and then be vulnerable to open up those spaces in our life that we don't want anybody to know about? And you don't have to do it all at once. It might take a little bit, of course, you have to establish a relationship with your professional and those things. But really, when it comes down to it, are we going to be vulnerable enough? Are we going to get to that point of where help is going to be usable? Are we willing to accept the help? And when we are willing to accept the help, it can lead us into new and scary places. Because you're going to be asked to possibly talk about or think about or do things that you haven't done for a while. And it's going to feel real uncomfortable. And you're going to say, well, this is garbage. I'm not going to do this. And why, why can't I just do it on my own? Because you probably tried several times to change your life on your own. And let me ask, are you happy with the results? You might see on YouTube or other places where you can do this self-help program in just 12 easy steps. And you know what? We're going to heal you from whatever's ailing you. And what we come to find out is that it takes someone who knows how to navigate the problems that you're having. And not everybody can navigate every problem, but some people have specialties. I work in addiction and mental health. Some people work on other modalities of mental health and other things. When you go see a doctor, your, your general doctor, they handle all your general health and well-being issues. When you go and see a mental health therapist, some of them are generalists and they can generally help you with a wide variety of things. However, there's sometimes we need to find people that specialize in certain things, such as like addiction. And you would seek a licensed drug and alcohol counselor. If you are struggling with borderline or schizophrenia or other things, there's other people that are specially trained in, our, in order to deal with those things. And that can approach you and help you with those specific disorders. Now, when we say we're trying to do this alone, and alone, maybe we don't know exactly where to start. And maybe we're just like, whatever. And maybe it'll just go away. I've had several clients that are just hoping that whatever they're facing in their life will just go away. And when we get to the reality of it, and that's another thing, accepting help. What's the reality of the situation? Some diagnoses can resolve and you can manage them very well. Medication, therapy, skills, all those things. Recovery is possible. But are we willing to accept the help and to do the work? Because there's work involved. It's not just wake up one morning, you have a session, and then everything is, turns back to the way it was which we'll talk about in another video about going back to the way things were. But right now, if there's something that you're struggling with, whether you have a diagnosis or whatever it is, and you're trying to shoulder this burden all by yourself, and every morning you wake up and you're going, man, I don't like the way things are. I don't like myself. I don't like, just life sucks, and I don't like it, but I don't know what to do. Are you willing to humble yourself and to be vulnerable and to ask and to accept 
the help that is being given? If you are, give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. And I hope to see you soon. Or maybe you can see one of our other practitioners here at Applied Care Services. We'd love to hear from you and we'd love to work with you. Give us a call. The number will be down below. And you can check out our website at AppliedCareServices.com so you can see what we all do online and even submit a referral form for yourself or just give us a call. I look forward to seeing you next video. And until then, this has been Brian Ario, Treatment Director of the Outpatient Recovery Program at Applied Care Services. Have a good one.